Hello everybody, welcome to Baidu's and in this video I am going to present to you an equation that I promise you it's going to blow your mind. But before we get to that equation, uh, let me make sure that you understand the meaning of solutions to an equation. Alright, so I'm going to pick on an easy equation first that you will, I'm sure, get it Right, okay, so if I say x plus y is equal to 10, then tell me some possible values for x and y, and I've made my uh, made your job simple here by telling you that x and y are integers. Now, some values that x and y can take is, hey, look, x can be 1 and y can be 9, right? Because 1 plus 9 is going to give you 10. There are many other possible values for this, right? Like x can be 2, y can be 8, x can be 0, y can be 10 or there may be negative values possible as well like x can be minus 1 plus y can be 11 okay so you understand now the meaning of solution it is those values of x and y which when substituted in the equation uh, will make sure that the left hand side and the right hand side are equal okay now let's uh, up the challenge a little bit more the second equation here is 2x plus 3y is equal to 12. Again, you've got to figure out uh, the possible values that x and y can take. Now, one value is, is, is pretty simple. Like if I substitute x is equal to 0 here, then the equation is going to be what? 2 times x. In the place of x, I've substituted 0 plus 3y is equal to 12. Now, generally, you, you solve these kind of equations by uh, hit and trial. All right, so this becomes 0 plus 3y is equal to 12 and now you're getting 3y is equal to 12. So this means 3 multiplied with some number is equal to 12 and that number is going to be 4. Or another way of getting that is, you know, you divide 12 by 3 and you get the answer as 4. So the first possible value for x and y is that x is equal to 0 and then y is equal to 4. There will be some other values possible as well, but I'm sure I've, I've done what I was looking to do. I've made sure that you understand what is meant by solutions to an equation. Equation. Now comes the equation of, that I was talking about. So the equation goes like this. 28x plus 30y plus 31z is equal to 365. And you've got to figure out the value of x plus y plus z. Awesome. Now when you have a look at the equation, it is looking quite scary, right? I mean, there are three unknowns in this equation to make the matters a little more interesting. And, and I've asked you to find x plus y plus z. Of course, x, y and z here are integers. Now, I would suggest that you pause this video and think through as to how you are going to approach this problem. Now, I'm sure uh, you have thought about how to solve this. Uh, so how, how did you think? If you've got the answer, well, nothing like it. Yeah, but in case you haven't, uh, how should we approach the problem? Well, we can't really approach this equation uh, the way we did uh, the earlier two, right? I mean, those were just done to make sure you understand the meaning of solution to an equation. But if we try out hit and trial, it's gonna take us very long right? So you've got to develop some observation skills because if, if that idea clicks, the answer to this is just 10 seconds, okay? If this is a 10 second answer, once you are able to recollect where you've seen these numbers, I promise you that you see them every day on the calendar. Yes, 28, 30, 31. You see these numbers on the calendar, right? Whenever you, of course, look at it. So what could this mean? Well, 28, how many months in a calendar have 20 and 28 days? There's only one month that has that, right? So X is going to be that February, all right? You're not gonna, gonna substitute February there. By X, I mean, yeah, there's only one month with 28 days. Now, how many months are there uh, with 30 days in, in a year? They are four months, right? Four months. And what are those months? I believe we start with, not January, okay, we start with April and then May has 31 and then June also, June has 30 days and then July is not going to have it. August is not going to have it. Uh, uh, June, July, August, September has 30 days and finally November is going to have 30 days as well. And how many months have 31 days? But of course, the remaining months, right? So the remaining how many? Seven. So this is an equation to a calendar, right? And total, of course, in a year, a non-leap year, how many days are there? 
365. So 28 multiplied with 1 plus 30 multiplied with 4 plus 31 multiplied with 7 is indeed going to give you 365. But then x plus y plus z is simply asking you what? How many total months are there in a year? So x plus y plus z is going to be 12. That's it. So the moment you, as I said, observe, 28, 30, 31, 365. Hey, I've seen these numbers before. Well, you will automatically get the answer and that is 12, right? Now, uh, an extension to this equation is going to be this. 29x plus 30y plus 31z is 366. Now, this is where I'm talking about a leap year, right? Because in a leap year, February is going to have 29 days, right? The solution to this is going to remain the same. The value of x plus y plus z is going to be 12 because x here is 1 and that is the month February. y again is going to be 4. The months discussed, you know, April uh, and what else was that? June and then you have September and November and z value is going to be 7. The remaining months, of course, are going to have 31 days, you know, your January, March and all of that. But the answer to this is going to be 12. Now, I suggest that you give this equation, show this equation to your friends, show the equation to your teachers maybe, and then the solution, I'm sure, is going to blow their mind. I hope you've liked it. Plenty more content like this is going to come your way. Stay tuned.